Ah, oh, when I was a kid, my mother used to tell me this story where my brain was a superhero who was often attacked by bad guys called junk food. They used to raise arms and wage a fierce battle against my health. But thankfully, this superhero had a strong brand of allies called nutrients. They stood behind it in tough times and fought against junk food's damaging forces. The moral of the story is that the type of food you eat can affect your brain's health by either supporting or damaging it. Eating healthy, nutrition-rich food can help your brain thrive. However, consuming chemically processed and unhealthy foods will damage your brain's health. In today's video, we're going to get to know these bad guys better, so let's get started and explore the top foods that can cause brain problems. First on our list, we have sugary drinks. Are you a big fan of sugary drinks on the go? Well, you might want to rethink your choices. Your love for sweetened beverages needs to be put on hold. Yes, take it as the end of a toxic love affair that was secretly damaging you from within. Sugary drinks negatively impact your brain's health and cause other health problems, such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. You might say, everyone keeps telling me this is bad and blah, 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 but why? What makes sugary drinks unhealthy? Well, it turns out that these beverages have high fructose corn syrups added in them, which consists of 55% fructose and 45% glucose. Whoa! That's a lot! No wonder your body faces difficulties in processing it. Fructose and glucose are simple forms of sugar and are known as monosaccharides. The body cannot break down these singular units of sugars into further simpler compounds. Fructose is commonly referred to as fruit sugar because it naturally comes in fruits and plant-based foods. It's commonly added to processed foods as high fructose corn syrup. While glucose, on the other hand, is often added into processed foods in dextrose, extracted from corn or wheat. High sugar intake often increases your insulin resistance, which means that your body will struggle to absorb glucose or sugar to produce energy. This can push you one step closer to developing type 2 diabetes, one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's disease. The neurological disease decreases the size of your brain, causing it to shrink and lose neurons and essential connections between them. This often results in memory loss, hampered judgment ability, problems in speaking, mood abnormalities, agitated behavior, and severe personality changes. And this is not only limited to those affected by diabetes. Higher sugar levels in the bloodstream can also increase the risk of dementia. Dementia is a brain condition where your cognitive abilities decrease. Its symptoms are almost identical to Alzheimer's, where you'll experience increased forgetfulness and trouble interacting with people and speaking clearly. If you have difficulty avoiding such drinks, try some healthy replacements. Start slowly adding freshly made juices to your diet. Try unsweetened iced tea and dairy products, and don't forget to drink lots and lots of water. Stay hydrated and you'll notice a reduced urge to have sugary drinks. It's time to reduce your refined carbs intake. Mind you, we said refined carbs. After all, not all carbohydrates are bad. Your body needs them to produce energy. But this is not the case with refined carbs, which only contain loads of sugar and highly processed grains, which are stripped of essential nutrients and fiber. Pizza dough, pasta, white flour, sweet desserts, and white rice are different examples of refined carbs. Refined carbs have a high glycemic load, which will quickly raise your blood sugar level. These foods contribute to impaired brain activity in children and adults. A study conducted on healthy university students have shown that those with a higher intake of refined carbs had poor memory. Refined carbs cause inflammation of the hippocampus, a brain region associated with memory, and cause malfunctions. Your diet also influences immune system function. High consumption of vegetables and fruits or a diet rich in antioxidants reduces inflammation. And since inflammation has been identified as a significant risk factor in the development of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia, it makes sense why you should stay away from such refined carbs. Do you know what else refined carbs can also mess with? Your weight! Eating too many refined carbs can lead to obesity. 
obesity, and already severe health challenge also contributes a fair share of cognitive impairments. Studies have shown that being overweight increases your risk of depression, mental health conditions, and other health problems such as diabetes, cardiovascular issues, respiratory disorders, cancer, and fatty liver. The link between higher body mass index and cognitive decline can be explained by enhanced blood-brain barrier permeability. So what happens is that the consumption of refined carbs exposes the brain to harmful molecules toxic to neurons and can damage them severely, impairing regular brain function. Next up, we have highly processed foods. If you're a big fan of chips, instant noodles, french fries, pizzas, and ready-made meals, sorry to disappoint you, but these foods need to make their way out of your diet. Processed foods contain large amounts of fats, salt, and sugar. They're incredibly high in calories and equally low in their nutrient content. Their tempting flavors can easily sway you, but under the mask of deliciousness is an unhealthy face that makes its way for endless health problems, one of which is brain issues. Processed foods trigger weight gain, and their continuous consumption can create a lot of fat deposits in a relatively short period. Studies have shown that obesity is linked with brain atrophy or loss of neurons. Researchers studied a group of almost 200 individuals closely, and they found that increased fat deposits around the body organs or visceral fat led to brain tissue damage and hampered cognitive abilities in individuals. Higher consumption of highly processed foods causes a heavy decline in a brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, a vital protein that promotes the survival of nerve cells, or neurons. It plays a role in the growth and maintenance of these cells and can negatively impact your brain, and you're likely to face neurodegenerative stress. Western diets are flooded with nutrient-deficit processed foods. Since they are significant contributors to brain impairment, we have to shut them down. So, whenever you visit the grocery mart, always read the labels before buying the packaged food. Some food brands might advertise themselves as healthy and low-calorie based, but going through their contents can help you make informed choices. And here comes the binge-drinking favorite, alcohol. Are you planning a big night out with your friends, with drinking games and shots face-offs? If yes, you might want to rethink your threshold limits and watch out for your health first. While drinking in moderation can be an easygoing ordeal without many worries, heavy alcohol consumption has the potential to meddle with your brain's health. And if you're somebody with a chronic drinking habit, then matters can be worse for you. Regular alcohol consumption can reduce brain volume and disrupt the neurotransmitter functions, which are the chemicals in your brain responsible for communication. Studies have shown that alcohol intake is succeeded by nutrient deficiencies, amongst which vitamin B1 insufficiency is quite common. It leads to neurological disorders like Wernick encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. Wernick encephalopathy is an acute neurological disorder characterized by confusion, rapid eye movement, and ataxia, a group of conditions that affect coordination, balance, and speech. Korsakoff syndrome is usually associated with memory loss. You'll have a hard time connecting the dots and remembering things from the past. Immediate memory might be maintained for some time, but there are chances to fall short of recalling events that happened just a few moments ago. Individuals with this disorder might even fabricate new stories and instances to compensate for the gaps. Alcohol consumption during pregnancy can be toxic for the fetus and devastatingly affect the baby's brain development and overall well-being. A heavy drinking episode often leads you to impaired mood control. You can develop a reduced sensitivity to sadness, but increased sensitivity to anger. You can blame these ups and downs in your behavioral patterns on impaired emotional recognition. Drinking might be fun in the moment, but there's no denying the damage it can cause to your brain in the long haul. So, be mindful of how much you drink and do not sign up for something that can harm your body in the long term. Have fun, but keep your health and safety in mind. One of the best deeds you can do for your body is to provide it with a healthy, nutrient-rich diet and keep the harmful eatables one mile away. Modify your dietary intake and include more vegetables, fruits, meats, nuts, seeds, and yogurt. And avoid alcohol at all costs. 
Are you looking for more brain health related videos? Check out Watch 7 Early Warning Signs of a Brain Tumor You Need to Know About or 5 Danger Warning Signs of a Brain Infection. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both. What all dietary amendments did you make? Let us know in the comments below.